Greetings, everyone. This is Live Life Well TV host Robert Landau, and this is another episode of a weekly trivia program here on Live Life Well TV that we call Did You Know? But this is a special edition of Did You Know? And you want to know why? Because it has everything and anything to do with the great state of Texas. Texas happens to be where a lot of viewers of Live Life Well TV happen to reside, so we thought we would honor you in the process. Also, big thanks go out to the video editor here on Live Life Well TV. Her name is Johnetta Barnett. Why are we extending a special tribute and thank you to her? Because Johnetta was the one who suggested the topic for today's episode. And with that in mind, she also referred us to a wonderful website where we took some of the information for this episode from. It is a website by the name of theculturetrip.com. So thank you, Johnetta of Janetta. Johnetta B. Productions for suggesting this in the first place. We also took some other Texas trivia information from a website called LoneStarTravelGuide.com. So with all of that said and done, stay tuned because we're going to begin in just a minute. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you know that Dr. Pepper was invented in Texas and you won't believe when? Dr. Pepper was invented in Texas all the way back in 1885. A guy by the name of Charles Alderton from Waco uh, created Dr. Pepper, and it was first nationally marketed back in 1904, and as you probably know, is now sold all around the world. The recipe is a very, very well-guarded secret, so much so that would you believe the recipe for Dr. Pepper is kept in not one, but actually two different places. The recipe is kept in two halves in safety deposit boxes located in two different Dallas banks. That is how secret the recipe for world famous created in Texas Dr. Pepper happens to be. Did you know that the first frozen margarita machine was invented in Dallas? Oh yes, oh yes. A restaurateur by the name of Mariano Martinez, who drew inspiration from the Slurpee machines at 7-Eleven that he would see, ended up creating a soft serve ice cream machine to make frozen margaritas and called it the world's first frozen margarita machine. And the world's first frozen margarita machine is now on display at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. How about that? Did you know that Bugs Bunny's catchphrase, What's Up Doc, originated in Dallas? Looney Tunes animator Tex Avery, who attended North Dallas High School, introduced the phrase, what's up, Doc? He later said that he didn't think much of it because it was a common phrase that was often used where he grew up in Dallas. Did you know that the Six Flags Over Texas theme park is named for the six countries that have ruled over Texas. These six countries happen to be Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the United States, and the Confederate States of America. The six flags can be found on the reverse of the seal of Texas. Did you know that the deadliest natural 
disaster in the United States occurred in Texas. Yes, the deadliest natural disaster in United States history actually occurred in Texas. The great Galveston hurricane of 1900, get this, took between 6,000 and 12,000 lives with a storm surge of 8 to 15 feet. The next deadliest hurricane in the U.S. was Hurricane Katrina, which claimed 1,200 lives. Did you know that the largest known bat colony in North America happens to be located in the great state of Texas? Located in Bracken Cave, the largest known North American bat colony, that bat colony, get this, has over 20 million bats. Let me say that again so you can picture this vividly. The Bracken Cave bat colony has no less than and well over 20 million bats, which is more than the entire human population of Mexico City. The largest known urban bat colony is also located in Texas. It's located over Lady Bird Lake in Austin. Did you know that the fastest road in the United States happens to be located in Austin? In a rural stretch located between Austin and San Antonio, the speed limit of a 40-mile stretch of a toll road is 85 miles per hour. Texas, by the way, also has the fastest average legal speed at 78.3 miles per hour. In Houston, I think people drive no less than 200 miles per hour, but that's just me. That's not a fact. Did you know that the Texas State Capitol building happens to be the largest state capitol building in the entire nation? In terms of gross square footage, the Texas Capitol is only smaller in size to the U.S. Capitol building. Additionally, the Texas Capitol dome actually sits seven feet higher than the U.S. Capitol. Did you know that Texas is larger than any country in Europe? Texas is larger than any country in Europe. If Texas were its own country, it would be the 40th largest in land area, with an area of 268,820 square miles. Texas is second only to Alaska's land mass. Did you know that King Ranch, located in Kingsville, is larger than the state of Rhode Island? Sprawled across 825,000 acres, King Ranch is home to over 200 quarter horses and over 35,000 heads of cattle. That amazing ranch reaches into six different counties and was designated as a National Historic Landmark for good reason back in 1961. Did you know that Texas has three of the top 10 most populous cities in the United States? Of course, the cities happen to be Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio. The total population of the Texas Triangle Mega Region as of 2010, for example, was 17,745,584 souls. Did you know that Amarillo is considered to be the helium capital of the world. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Home to America's national helium reserve, Amarillo contains about 90% of the world's recoverable helium supply. 
Scientists initially believed that helium didn't exist on Earth due to several failed experiments to replicate the gas. Did you know that a time capsule in Texas contains a passbook to a bank account expected to be worth, get this, one quadrillion by the time it opens in 2968. Wow. <laughs> Did you know uh, that everyone Oh, uh, uh, let's do this. Did you know that the Helium Centennial Time Columns Monument was built in 1968 to honor the 100th anniversary of the discovery of helium? So we're back to helium now. One of the time capsules sealed on that monument is set to open a thousand years from that date and has a passbook to a bank account uh, with $10 billion of it. So lots of bank accounts to be opened in the future. Did you know that everyone in the town of Dish, Texas received free basic television and DVRs for 10 years from Dish Network in exchange for renaming their town to Dish from Clark? That's a pretty good deal. Although it does sound weird to say that you now reside in a town by the name of Dish. But hey, if you have got free basic television and a DVR for 10 years, I'd live in Dish, Texas, wouldn't you? Did you know uh, that along these lines, located in Denton County, DISH was established in June of 2000 after a commercial agreement to change its name in November 2005. DISH is home to just 200 residents and, you know it's Texas, 60 gas wells. Did you know that Texas was once its own country. From 1836 to 1845, Texas ruled itself as an independent country. Did you also know that the Alamo isn't the only Spanish mission in the great city of San Antonio? And um, it's arguably the least impressive story, history aside, San Antonio is home to the San Antonio Missions, the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in all of Texas. Did you know that Vietnamese happens to be the third most spoken language in Texas? English and Spanish, of course, are the two most spoken by a landslide. Did you know that there happens to be a dialect of German in the Lone Star State that is specific to just Texas? Texas, as you probably know, has an enormous amount of German heritage that dates all the way back to the 19th century, including plenty of German town names that dot the map. Fredericksburg, Luckenbach, for example. Uh, one of the results of this heritage is Texas German, a specific dialect of German spoken by the descendants of German immigrants who settled in Texas. My last name is actually a town in Germany, but I'm not originally from Texas. My father was from uh, Germany. He came from Berlin. So Landau happens to be a German name. Did you know that Houston is one of the most diverse cities in the United States? By some metrics, the fourth largest city in the USA is considered to be the most diverse, even often beating out New York City. Did you know that Don't Mess With Texas, that slogan, that saying originated as part of an anti-littering campaign? 
Only Texas could turn an anti-littering slogan into a catchphrase for local pride. Don't mess with Texas was coined back in the 1980s as part of an ad campaign. Did you also know that when you are in El Paso, you are closer to Los Angeles than the eastern border of Texas. We got two more Texas trivia. Did you know before we close this episode? Here's the second to last. Did you know that Texas happens to be home of not one, but two great national parks? Big Bend National Park and Guadalupe Mountains National Park are both located in the western part of the state. Did you know, finally, that Texas produces more wool than any other state in the USA. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, it produces more oil than any other state in the US too. The, so that uh, is all of the Texas trivia that we have for you today. How did you uh, do with that? I'm sure some of these uh, trivial facts you knew before, but I bet like me, many of these Texas facts you didn't know before. And that's the whole point of this series or any show here on Live Life Well TV, that you walk away from these episodes of any show uh, learning more than you did uh, before uh, the episode aired. So in this case, you know, I can only speak for me, I learned a lot more about the great state of Texas by facilitating this episode for you, and I hope you did too. And not only that, I hope you had a lot of fun in the process. So until next week's episode of Did You Know? This has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host. Thanks for tuning in.